Now that we have our skybox in place, we're going to add in some finishing touches before going into particle details and finally lighting. So what we'll do is we'll copy uh, one of our rocks, just duplicate it, rotate it, and then we're going to fill in this first gap here on the left side of the level. Just rotate this guy a little bit. 45 degrees should be fine. And we just want to cover up that gap behind the plants we have. Next I can just duplicate this to the right side. And rotate it. So I cover up that gap. Then I can uh, duplicate this one more time. You can zoom out back here. We'll rotate this by 90 degrees. And lower it and line it up with this wall so we cover up the gap up here just rotate it and that should be good if I look from back here it's pretty much covered up and then I can duplicate it to the uh, left side so that that gap is covered up as well Uh, next what we're going to do is add in uh, a few more pillars and torches in this backspace which will be used uh, in our lighting pass to light up this entire back area. So what we'll do is select one of our pillars, uh, duplicate it, and put it roughly in the middle between these two pieces of trim. Like that. Then we can move it back and then move it up just a bit so it looks like when I'm looking at it that if it's supporting the rocks and then I can duplicate one on the right side in the same position uh, next what I'm going to do is go to my content browser and under static meshes search for uh, light and scroll down till I find this uh, SM free light base 01 uh, select it, put it in the world. We're going to rotate this guy by 90 degrees and then scale it down to 0.25. And then we're going to line it up with our pillar. Again, if you're having con uh, issues with con fine control of this mesh lining up with your pillar, uh, check your draw scale. If it's at 16, you may have uh, problems lining it up. But if you drop your draw, s your grid scale down to like four, you have more fine control over this uh, mesh to line it up with the pillar. Next, we can duplicate this mesh to our right side, and then what we need to do is once we have that duplicated, select uh, our torch and duplicate it, rotate it by 90 degrees and then we're going to place it on that base we just added like that and then we'll duplicate it on the left side as well. Finally what we're going to do is duplicate just the torch and rotate it by 180 degrees and place it on uh, this pillar. The reason we don't need the base is that when we look at the level from our visual scene perspective uh, you won't be able to see the base so adding it in for a visual scene purpose uh, is not necessary at this time however if this was a uh, full playable level and players could get back here then yes you should add in the proper details of the base uh, as we did with the other uh, torch pillars but since it's a visual scene players won't get back here it's not a big deal 
And there we go, our level is ready for a particle and lighting pass. Now what we're going to do is add in some particle effects to our level. Uh, what we will do is go to our content browser and instead of static meshes, as our search, obje search option under object types, we're going to deselect that and search for particles right here. And in particle, uh, you want to search for torch and then you're going to get PAUDK torch fire 01. Select it and roughly place it on one of your torches like this. Now what you're going to do is to see the torch effect we're going to turn on real-time mode using pressing this joystick, joystick button in the top left corner. When you do that you'll see that the uh, the water that we placed is also moving but more importantly our torch is uh, has a fire on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to line this guy up as close as possible to the torch. And it's kind of hard to see but your movement widgets are there and you can drag this guy over so that it's roughly about center of the torch. Then you can hit the rotation and then change the direction a little bit. We I rotated this by 90 degrees. And it's going to move it back. Now I'm going to turn real time mode off and then duplicate this to my other torches on the waterfall. And if I hit real time mode, I should see four lit torches. Pretty cool. I'm going to turn real time mode off. And then what I'm going to do is go to these torches over here. And then go to my content browser and drag in the same particle effect onto this torch. Uh, turn on real time mode to see the current placement. And adjust the placement as I feel fit and change the rotation a little bit I did this at a negative 45 and then turn off real-time mode raise it up and then duplicate it and then select both of these particle effects duplicate them right-click and transform around uh, x-axis and then place them on your torches on the right side of the map and if we turn on real-time mode we should see these torches all lit we'll turn off real-time mode and then lastly we'll come to the back side of our map here and put in that same uh, torch particle effect. Go to our content browser, place the uh, fire there, and then check with real time mode the current placement. And the current placement of these ones is not a big deal, uh, but you want to get it lined up as close as possible. But again, the player's not going to come back here, and it's more just for visual scene. But we do want to have these close enough to where it looks somewhat plausible that these things are on fire. It looks pretty good and then I'm going to duplicate this to the other side and then um, duplicate it and I'm going to mirror uh, uh, tr uh, sorry duplicate it right click and transform around Y axis and then place them on these last two torches
and then if I turn on real time mode all the torches are lit and next what we're going to do is add in some waterfall, waterfall particles so we're going to go back to our content browser and search for waterfall and then what we want is uh, actually if we delete this and just type the word water you want to scroll down until you see uh, water splash zero one select this and place it in your world and if we turn on real time mode you see the water is splashing so what we want to do is we want to turn off real time mode and drag this particle to the back end of our level and if it real time mode you can see that the water is splashing and we just want to line it up so that from this view it looks like the water fall in the back has a splashing effect and then I can just with real time mode on I can just duplicate this over to each of these windows like that and then turn off real time mode go back to my content browser and then I'm going to search for uh, with the particle effects underwater we're going to search for waterfall mist select it and place it in the world if you hit real time mode you'll see a mist uh, appear so we're going to turn real time mode off and then drag this particle in the back of our level again and then turn on real time mode and then we get a pretty cool mist effect in the back and what I can do is just while it's still selected duplicate it to the left side and then I can do duplicate it one more time and bring it up to the front and then lower this particle effect down and line it up with my waterfall something like that so that when I'm looking at this scene from this view I see some mist rising from the bottom of the waterfall but again this is just a visual scene so looking down there's nothing actually down there but just for the purpose of the scene the uh, particle effect gives the illusion as if the water is falling down and the mist is rising up so I can duplicate this guy one more time and then third time into the middle and then raise this up just a little bit and then I can turn off my real time mode and there we go we have our particle effects set up for the level uh, before I cover lighting I realize there's one more detail I need to add to this tutorial for you guys and that's with these bridges as I said a long in an earlier video uh, we will fix this gap um, I would like to fix it before we start the lighting tutorial so let's quickly do this by going to our content browser and under static meshes searching for trim and scroll down until you find uh, CA wall trim STRA select it into the world and then what we're going to do is we're going to scale this guy down to a value of 0.5 and then the X scale by 0.8 and then we're going to rotate this by 90 degrees and cover up this gra this uh, gap in our bridge and try to center it and lower it. Next what we're going to do is 
on our uh, slanted uh, block piece and duplicate this. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this down by 0.35 and then place it on our bridge. Like that. And then do the same thing for the other side. And then finally, select all three pieces and then duplicate it to the other bridge. and then select all these pieces and try to center them up and there we go all of our details are complete and we can move on to the lighting tutorial